This valley in northern Pakistan near Afghanistan has recently escaped attacks by the Pakistani Taliban. In a remote mountainous region, it is home to the Kalash, the last polytheistic community in the country. Shaira Bibi is now back in the fields after spending a few days indoors at the beginning of September as the Pakistani army pushed back insurgents who were trying to take over the valley. We were told that they were attacking us because we are Kalash. When we slept at night, all the lights went off in the village. Drones were flying over us. It was very scary. No one was allowed to enter or to leave the village. Without adequate security, insurgents can take over the valley in a day. Pakistani authorities say that the TTP or Tehreek e Taliban Pakistan has been using Afghan soil to carry out attacks inside Pakistan. Mufti Nurwali Muhammad, the leader of the TTP, is believed to be hiding in Afghanistan. The TTP assault was repelled by the Pakistani army. Twelve insurgents were killed, while four soldiers died in the operation. The family of one of them is holding prayers in his memory. The terrorists were reportedly preparing for an attack on the border. My son, therefore, was transferred to the border post on the 2nd of September. And in the early hours of the 6th of September, there was an attack. I'm proud my son was martyred. I realized this attack was carried out from Afghan soil. The valley has already suffered attacks from the Pakistani Taliban in 2016. The history of the Kalash people is marked by repeated persecutions and forced conversions. There are only around 3,000 of them left in the valley. But they have managed to preserve their customs and their polytheistic rituals for almost 2,300 years. The tribe's women enjoy unusual freedom in a conservative and Muslim country. Shaira is reassured by the deployment of the army in the area to protect the population from the Taliban incursions. Yet she is well aware that she belongs to an isolated community. We have managed to preserve our culture and we're very proud of it. With all the persecutions and difficulties, every time there's a flood or natural disaster, the Kalash are blamed for it. If we are Kalash, aren't we humans? They say that women here don't cover themselves and accuse us of drinking alcohol and committing adultery. Although life has returned to normal, Shaira Bibi still remains worried. The recent attacks have reminded the Kalash community of their vulnerability. The Kalash of the three valleys gathered, sacrificed a goat and offered a prayer for protection. If the Taliban take over our valley, they will convert us by force. And if we resist, they'll kill us. History will repeat itself, as it happened centuries ago. Some members of our people were forcibly converted to Islam. The Kalash are poorly perceived by the most conservative in Pakistan. The valley is nicknamed Kafristan, which means the land of infidels. Because of their pagan beliefs, they are a target for Islamist groups such as the Taliban. They want to kill us because we are not Muslims, we are natives. In the past, the entire Kitral Valley was populated by Kalash. We are afraid that they will eliminate us. We have no weapons. How can we fight them with our bare hands? We are afraid we have to limit our movements. Since the recent attacks, the streets have been deserted despite the tourist season. There are almost no customers in the shops or in the hotels. Since the attack, the hotel has been empty. Normally at this time it is full and the majority of rooms are occupied. 60 or 70 percent of the local economy depends on tourism. In winter, hotels are closed due to snow. You can only make money in spring and summer when the weather is pleasant. This year will therefore be very difficult for us financially. Several times a day, Abdul Khalik goes through his phone in the hope of receiving booking requests. I have not received any booking requests and the situation has been the same for a month. Even before the Taliban attack, police had asked tourists to leave the area. 
They said there was a threat from insurgents and since then tourism has completely collapsed. Since the Taliban took control of Afghanistan, the Kalash have become increasingly fearful for their safety and for the future of their community. A spike in attacks against the security forces suggests only further violence awaits the region.